Do you think it was one of the most beautiful deaths in TV history? Absolutely. I thought it was incredible. They didn't need to show anything on screen. Yeah. Mm. It was just implied. The meal they were having, the last meal was the same as the first meal mm. they were having. It was, yeah. It was I didn't pick very, up on that. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, you could, oh, yeah. Same yeah. Of you could the same thing. Well. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't actually in the game, the story of episode three. You just knew that it was implied. Frank, yeah, yeah, they had some sort of relationship. Yeah, right. so you actually find Frank's dead corpse hanging. They changed it dramatically. So yeah. Frank in the game had actually written Bill a suicide note where he got bitten and he just said, oh. I fucking hate you, Bill. Like, I'm glad I left you. Fuck you, essentially. Yeah. And so the producers <sighs> obviously decided, hey, what if we flip this and turn it into kind of a bit of a love story mm. and I think it was just a nice it was a nice break from the like pretty grim s- surrounding yeah. episodes yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick Offerman like when he starts crying I was like man this is like the bloke from Where the Mill is like he's yeah, like, yeah. this is a cop <laughs> and, and, uh, and Parks and, and Rec Parks and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ron, Ron Swanson, Swanson. Yeah. Yeah. No, but when he just starts crying because like Mar- obviously Murray Bartlett wants to off himself yeah just, like, I was like fuck yeah, yeah. yeah you, were to- you were talking to me days after going wow Nick Offerman didn't know he had that in him like mm. beautiful performance both get, of them get him in more dramatic stuff They're I both sort of knew that Murray, Murray could do that yeah. Yeah. White Lotus mm. he yeah. had some incredible acting right Yes. <laughs> I'd actually watched White Lotus that morning because I was just starting to watch it. I'd gone from Murray Bartlett eating out the bellboy's ass <laughs> <laughs> like, to love story with Nick Offerman. And I was like, yeah. That is a brilliant contrast. Is, man. <laughs> Doing Australia proud in both. What's elements. been dividing everyone? Were you supportive of him when he's shooting at the doctors and shooting him? Or were you going, mate, you've just fucked everyone? Well, I think you've got to get to the Marlene scene and then you can address that yeah, as a park. whole Marlene. because she kind of challenges him on it. She says, you can stop it now. We can make it work. And if you hand her over now, I can forget sure. that you've just murdered my entire fucking He doesn't game. care at that point. He's, no. he wants just to say that. He's just got it. And they were getting people to play test this scene in the game. Apparently 100% of the people who played this scene and were the parents, were parents, said that Joel was 100% justified in what he did. What? And people who weren't parents, it was about a 64 split towards Joel towards Joel I don't think my mum would ever shoot a hospital up like even if no matter how sick I was the way I was interpreting what his mindset was by the time he does get to the car park and Marlene kind of faces up with him it seems like he's just saving her for himself yeah. and it's not at least for me it wasn't like let's find an alternative way to get the cure out of her in that way I think he maybe was a bit selfish yeah. Absolutely. But also, maybe he's lost hope in finding the cure and he's like, I, I don't care. It. Absolutely I don't not. Think so. I, don't think I think so. I think it's she's asking him point blank and then... Giving him an out. Yeah, giving him an out and he doesn't take it and it's more like, well, I'm with you. I have to let it go or just try and move on from this point. But I don't mm. think she actually believes it. She doesn't believe it and no. it's going to, in season two, it's going to it's gonna brew. Attention. It's going to brew to a, to a boiling point and then just like erupt. Yeah. They're going to mm. have a big split. Well, the yeah. thing that, the thing that's quite interesting for, you know, New Michael and I is we haven't played The Last of Us 2 so I actually don't know where it goes from here so I would yeah. love to see kind of like a she knows but he knows she knows but he won't acknowledge it type thing mm. like I don't know who dies I don't know like what happens Yeah, yeah. but I'd love to see their, their there's like, good, yeah, there's a big father daughter but that those senses of mistrust like we've seen has a big disconnect yeah. in the relationship yeah. Yeah. especially now that they've got to a point where they're Joel's opening up about his suicide attempt and she's opening up about killing a friend. Like they've finally got to this place of trust. And then he's back to lying to her.